you know, they decided that the the two losses that I, that Ohio State had, especially the Iowa loss, um, was enough to keep Bam in the top four. Now, uh, you knew when the the, rank, the rankings were released a week ago, when and when Bama was five, you knew what they were thinking. You knew what was kind of in their heads that there was an opportunity for Bama to jump back in there. But for the most part, championship weekend was underwhelming for me. I was hoping that the games would be more compelling. Right, like Clemson thrashed Miami. Oklahoma won easily. Yeah, I mean, you had three or four blowouts. You know, the Pac-12 championship was a good game. Bryce Love was banged up, and that fourth and goal from the one was the difference when they couldn't get in. But That was Friday night. That was Friday night. But, um, you know, that really didn't have any playoff implications like the ones on Saturday did. But the committee decided that the two losses, and remember, last year they did the same thing. Last year, Penn State was the Big Ten champion, had two losses. Lost to Pitt and got blown out by Michigan. So they decided those two losses were enough to keep them out. So even though they were the Big Ten champion and beat Wisconsin in a great game last year in Indianapolis, um, it was enough to keep them out, and they, they put Ohio State in. This year, same thing. Now, the politically correct decision would have had four of the, the five Power Five conferences represented, but they said, nope, we're not doing that. We're going to have two SEC teams in. Alabama, and, and Bama to me. is the fourth team to play the best Clemson. Team. And by the way, Alabama in. is the favorite to win the national championship. Why not? Uh, just It's kind of surprising. Well, that's why they're in there. <clears throat> well, you can't leave them out. They're, they're in there in. because the committee thought that they were the best, one of the best four teams. Exactly. Yeah. And I don't have a problem with it. I think Bama will give Clemson a better game than I than I than uh, Ohio State would. Saban pointed out. Just imagine if we <laughs> lost, like Ohio State lost. If that was their one loss, yeah. And Ohio State got spanked by Iowa. Mm-hmm. I watched that he's game. Like, that game was a disaster. He's like, they wouldn't put us in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, look, they lost to Auburn. They put. They, That's it. Yeah. They, they they said the commi- the thirteen members said that loss cost you a, a spot to win a national right. championship. Don't get your ass beat by Iowa. Don't lose the game. Right. <laughs> yeah. Don't lose to Iowa. Yep. Still don't lose so to Iowa. Don't lose to There's still so much of the system that I don't like because what they end up doing <clears> is they just have to choose. And I have them choosing Alabama over Iowa. But they have to choose these teams that are all really the same. Because your Pac-12 champion, which was USC, is a two-loss team. Like, let's say, theoretically, they picked Ohio State. There was a bunch of two-loss teams. Well, with and if you compare resume. and if you compare compare USC's resume, you know the strength of schedule, the top forty wins. They actually had a better resume than Ohio State and Alabama, right? But they had the second loss. You're right, um, and they were really never a player. So, so here's Saban's quote. Just ex- if you want the exact quote, yep. uh, I'd say that if we lost a team in our conference that was not ranked <clears> by thirty <throat> points, we wouldn't be in this conversation. You wouldn't even be talking to me. You want to create awareness. If we have lost to an unranked team in the SEC by 31 points, we wouldn't even be in the conversation. Mm-hmm. The funny and thing about right. Saban, though, right. is I he this year made the argument that he was against last year. Correct. Well, which was a team does that doesn't win their league Shouldn't getting be. in. Right. Yeah. And the other thing is everybody does. when the rankings, the rankings came about out, self-interest. the rankings came out, what, Halloween week, right? So when the rankings came out five, six weeks ago, Alabama was always one or two. Until they lost to Auburn. Sure. Right, so they were always, the committee always said, all right, well, they're one of the top two teams in the country until they lost to Auburn. Uh, Ohio State wasn't. So even though Ohio State, and Ohio, if Ohio State would have won, I don't know, 52 to 17. Roll down tight. On Saturday night, maybe that would be enough. But it was 27-21. 27-21. It. Look, Barrett had the injury. You know, he had surgery during the week. Uh, he clearly wasn't the same player. Um, Wisconsin's defense just was bad in the first half. They couldn't tackle. They were just much slower than Ohio State. But, you know, if that was a bigger blowout, maybe that would have been enough, but I, I doubt it. Uh, but, you know, you only you squeak and, and you're left out and you're going to go play in the Cotton Bowl against USC. Uh, so Clemson will play Bama. Oklahoma will play Georgia. Like I said, I, I thought that the, the championship weekend games were um, a bit of a dud. Underwhelming. Uh, a bit of a dud. I mean... I was expecting some closer games. I was really expecting a closer game in the Georgia Auburn game in the SEC championship. But Georgia with the three headed monster running back just punched Auburn in the mouth. And Drabby, the DeAndre Swift kid, the freshman running back, is a stud. That kid is a stud. But it didn't hurt uh, Gus Malz on him when it came to re upping his <clears throat> deal. I believe he got seven years, 49 million Huge. from Auburn. So mm-hmm. great. Even in the wake of that loss. I These mean, college that- coaches are getting paid. Fisher, ten, five million. 
five and six. Right? And six, yeah. They had, I mean, to, they had to uh, reschedule the, the Louisiana Monroe game right. just to get bowl eligible. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Ten uh, years, seven. I found it million. funny that he just said he was in such a rush to leave. He threw his Christmas tree out, out on the curb and just said, we're out of here. We're, we're, we're out of we're here, going. Texas. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Florida, you are finished. God. We're out of here. How much, See, did, so how much did Herm Edwards get, by the way? Um, do, we, do we know the, the sure. details on that? How, how much he got? Not a lot. So Arizona State hi- officially hired Herm Edwards. Yeah. yeah, it was the. the Did they statement. consider someone? He didn't even get a phone call. No. This whole thing was, I think the was media, in the works from the, the beginning. The media considered him, but I don't think the school ever did. Yeah. The 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 statement the school put out was but embarrassing. They said that Herm Edwards <laughs> is going to be the CEO of the program, and that's how he's going to. He just wants to oversee the program and let everybody else do everything, do all the work. Mm-hmm. So he'll be the overseer, and he'll have a bunch of minions running things. He's going to Joe Gibbs it. <laughs> kind of what Gibby. That's kind of what Gibbs did. <laughs>